Welcome to the GoTalk tutorial. I'm going to be discussing ways that you can use the GoTalk within your daily activities with students. I will also discuss in greater detail the GoTalk 9 Plus, including how to program the device, how to record your voice, and how to develop an overlay for this system. This is the website for the attainment company, the manufacturer of the GoTalk, and a great variety of other assistive technology tools. This website contains a lot of resources and a lot of information about other devices that they have to support those with special needs. Let's go into the technology section and explore the GoTalks a little bit further. GoTalks come in a range of sizes from the GoTalk 1 all the way up to the GoTalk Express 32. They even have a dynamic display communication device system for the iPad, but right now we're going to be talking about the GoTalk 9 Plus. The GoTalk 9 Plus can record up to 45 messages in the five different levels that are available to program. There are 12 symbols on the display, however, the top three symbols are core phrases or words that you can program into them. Those three buttons at the top do not change according to the level, whereas the bottom nine symbols will change according to your level. You will program each level separately according to what is on your overlay. And the overlays, I would recommend that you label them as one, two, three, four, or five, so you know exactly which overlay correlates to which level on the system. You can record up to 12 seconds of content on each of the core symbols on the top row, and you can record up to eight seconds on each of the bottom nine main buttons. One thing I really like about the GoTalk is how rugged and durable it is. It is made of a hard plastic material, and there's a nice handle that can be easily transported by your students. Another component that I really like is this grid system. So there is a plastic grid covering the overlay so that it will separate the different symbols. Kiddos with fine motor delays or visual perceptual delays will benefit from this grid system. On the side of the device, you will see a slot for the overlay and you can slide your overlay right in the top. And right behind the overlay slot is another slot. And this is where you can store your extra overlays for the other levels. This is very convenient, so it will reduce the likelihood that you will lose the other overlays. One other thing that I like about this device is that it comes with a sleeve that you can place your overlays inside. So there's no need to laminate you can laminate the boards if you would like to. However, you don't really need to because you have this nice sleeve that it can go inside. One more feature I like about the GoTalk is that it can act as its own backup system. If the batteries are dead or if it's not working properly for some other reason, you can easily just remove the overlays and use this as a no-tech communication board. I'm going to show you how to develop an overlay for the GoTalk system. The attainment company does have their own software system that you can use to develop overlays. However, I don't have that system, but I do have BoardMaker. So there are lots of different templates available on the BoardMaker software that you can use for a variety of communication devices, the GoTalk being one of them. So when you open BoardMaker, you can just push open a template and then communication devices will come up in one of the selections. So click on communication devices and open, and then we'll scroll until we find the GoTalk systems available. I found the 9 Plus, click open for that, and you'll see your template is right here on the screen. In order to program symbols onto the device, you would just use the symbol locator, the top left button, looks like a face, and then you can start typing in 
what you would like to have on your first three core words. So I'll stick with what I already have. The hello. My name is. And help. And then you can decide what you want to program on the bottom nine main buttons for that level. So you can make that according to a lesson or according to part of the routine, however you want to develop the vocabulary for that level. And then I'm going to show you how to customize the symbols so that you can use different colors in the backgrounds. So you have to go to the pointer tool right next to the symbol locator button and then you can highlight one or many buttons in order to change the background color. So I highlighted the top three core words and then click on this color wheel and then you can just pick whatever color you would like. All my other ones were light blue so I'll stick with the light blue color and you can do this for any of the other buttons as well once you have them all programmed. You can also easily go to Google Images and copy and paste images from Google or from other files that you may have taken pictures of to make this device more customized for your student where the vocabulary on the board maker system and even on the GoTalk overlay system is a little bit limited and it's more line drawings or cartoonish characters whereas you can have real photos taken from your own photos or from Google images. That is just up to your preference and the needs of your student. Once you have finished completing an overlay, you can print this out. It's recommended that you print in landscape mode, but this just uses regular sized paper and then you would just cut along the lines. I tend to cut in a little bit further than the line just to make it fit a little bit easier into the device. The voice quality on the GoTalk is pretty good and it is using your actual recorded voice when you are programming the device. So you'll want to make sure that you are in an environment with very limited background noise and you want to speak directly into the recorder as you are recording the device to get the clearest quality you can. Let's talk about how to record on the GoTalk. On the back of your GoTalk are instructions. You can follow these instructions, but I'm just going to demonstrate how to record um, right here on this video. There is a record button on the back of your GoTalk, so just push that record button one time. When you push that record button, the light is red on the very top of your device, and my level one is indicated in green. If you are recording a different level, you just push the circle button to go to the level in which you are recording. I'm going to stick with level one right now because that's the board that I am going to be recording and demonstrating for you. When you are ready to record, push the symbol in which you want to record. So I'm going to start with the first one. And as you'll see, once you hit the button, this red light will start flashing. That means you are recording. Hello. So I say what I need to say in the recording and I push the button again. Once I push the button again, the red light will stop flashing. That means my recording has been saved. So you can do this for the whole entire level while this red light is on. You would just keep pushing each one and pushing it again as you are done recording. So let's just do this whole row down here. I want cookies, a banana. So I recorded that entire row on the left here. And when I'm done recording, you just push the record button on the back one more time. And when I do that, the recording light, the red light goes away and we can listen to what we just recorded. So I have just successfully recorded this column. You can do this for the whole entire screen 
um, for each level with that one push of the record button. It's as simple as that. So when you are ready to record another level, you would just take out the overlay that you have just recorded and put in the next overlay. Again, I would recommend labeling your overlays. So at the very at the very edge of this overlay, I just put the number one because I want to remember that this is level one. So you're not searching through and pushing buttons just to see if you're on the right level when you're switching overlays out. If you are using this device during snack time to work on requesting skills, make sure you have at least two items available from the board. You'll want to check for the motivation for your student. So you can do this by holding up two items and seeing which one they point to or reach for or even indicate on the device. You can model a request by either sequencing two symbols together with the I want button and the item or you can simply just push the item if your student is not yet ready to sequence two symbols together. Another way you can incorporate the use of the GoTalk within your routine is through playtime. I have this level recorded with different opportunities for turn taking and protesting as well as requesting from adults and peers within a play activity. A student can easily indicate when it is their turn or when it is someone else's turn. Your turn. They can also easily protest an unwanted activity. Please stop. They can also request different items from their teachers or from their peers as they are playing. I want to play with trains. I want This is just another way that you can incorporate the GoTalk within a play activity.